And back to school is or just right around the corner. And this year, a pandemic era federal program for free school lunches has now ended. 13 on your side's Elena Holland tells us what parents and student students need to know. Elena? Well, since March of 2020, all public schools had free lunch for students under a federal program. However, Congress did not renew the program back in June. All of those free lunches are ending. Students will be paying for school lunches once again this school year after a USDA waiver program was not extended. I think my biggest fear is that we will see hungry students and we know that hungry students cannot learn. Diane Golzinski is the director of Health and Nutrition Services with the Michigan Department of Education. She says the program made a big impact for students who were able to eat at school without having to worry about paying for it. What we don't want to see is a lot of meal debt racking up at school. We don't want parents to all of a sudden get a bill for a couple of hundred dollars for school lunches when their kids just simply didn't realize that they didn't get free meals at school any longer. What parents need to do now is apply for free or reduced school lunches. It's the same federal program at all public school districts prior to the pandemic. It, based on family income, number of people in the household, that type of thing. Meanwhile, some districts participate in other programs. West Michigan's largest school district, Grand Rapids Public Schools, offers free lunch and breakfast for all students. Because we qualify for a program called Community Eligible eligibility provision. This is a separate program than the pandemic era federal waivers. GRPS has been offering free meals for the past seven years. It makes all the difference in the world. It allows all students to be on an equal playing ground in receiving the meals. It removes the stigma of the free and reduced meal categories. GRPS parents do not need to sign up for anything for their child to receive the free meals. If you have a hungry child in a classroom, you have a child that isn't learning. Meanwhile, Glazinski wants parents to apply now for free or reduced lunches so their child does not go hungry at school. We have children going into the second grade who've never had to pay for meals. Those families don't have any idea what it means to fill out an application and pay for their school lunches. If a district has more than 20% or more of its students qualify for free or reduced lunches, the district also is required to provide breakfast. All public schools have to participate in that program.